mentioned a bit about um, your interest in affordable housing and how this could possibly be a model that could mm -hmm. be applied um, to affordable housing and things like that. So talk a bit about okay. that. This is, yeah, this is a fabulous affordable housing model as well. Um, this is a, a unit that cost $100,000. Um, and uh, f for me, my monthly costs, including my um, mortgage, my property tax, maintenance, I, it's about $500 per month. Um, I can charge $1,200 a month rent. Um, um, but that what's important number here is $500 a month because if I choose to, I can rent to a low-income housing uh, household. Mm -hmm. Or I actually have low-income friends that would love to move in here for, and pay that kind of rent. Um, so uh, a typical affordable housing unit costs more like $400,000 in Berkeley. And so we have in Berkeley, we have an inclusionary housing ordinance. And if a, a, a developer builds a multifamily building over a certain size, it's required to do 15% of the units, uh, make them affordable. Now, the problem with those types of ordinances is that often, if you build them on site where you're building the big building, they're building big buildings like this in downtown Berkeley, um, land values are very high and it's very expensive so that the affordable housing unit turns out to be $400,000 and then the carrying costs are more like $2,000 a month rather than $500 a month. Um, so, um, so it's not a great model and we're paying, we could be building four times as many affordable units if we went with a model like this or at least twice as many. Um, so it, it's a more, maybe a more sustainable model in the long run for affordable housing.